Jason, first of all, happy birthday. Um, where does this rank in birthdays you've had? Yeah, it's been the best birthday I could wish for. It's my dream come true. Finn, congratulations on signing your first professional contract. Uh, how do you feel? Delighted because it's a proud moment for me and my family and like everyone that's helped me to get to where I want to be today. The smile on their faces and it's just awesome. I'm looking forward to the future. So I grew up in South Norwood, um, so I've always seen the stadium from my bedroom window and hearing the crowd chant. It's just, it's great I can be here today and do what I do. I live in Worcester Park, which is in Sutton, and I went to school in Croydon and I've spent a lot of time sort of around Palace. When did you first come to a game here at Celeste? I think back when Palace were in the championship, when I was eight, eight or nine, where I saw Zaha, you know, just doing his thing. And it's just a great feeling to know that I'm part of that now. What football team do you support? Crystal Palace. Good stuff. So your family, are you from a family of Palace fans? I wouldn't really say that. Now they're all Palace fans because of me playing for Palace, but I always drifted towards Palace. I was just looked like the environment and the fans, the fans got me. So. Did you come to lots of Palace games? Yeah, a lot. Where, where was your seat in the, in the stadium? Main stand, main stand. When did you first join the academy? Under 11s, I was 11 years old. I was playing for like a coaching team, like a development sort of team. And we played against Palace's development and I scored seven. And then they signed me the next day. Describe yourself as a player. Um, I like to describe myself as quite exciting and um, good on the ball. I like to attack players try and create goals for my team. What positions do you play on the pitch? I play uh, centre attacking mid, left wing or right wing and number eight as well. I'm an attacker so I play as a 10 primarily but I can also play in other positions across like the front three. How do you two work together in the team? We always link up well, you know we're intelligent players, we're the same type of player. We've always been in the team together and working to where we are today. And you're in quite an exciting under-18s team. Obviously you won the, it was the Floodlit Cup. Yeah, we won the Floodlit Cup. And the age group above us, who are the second years, we're in the final. And how well is the team doing under Paddy this season? Yeah, uh, very well. We've had good results, um, especially the one against Chelsea. Yeah, it was brilliant to be at Chelsea because they're like, everyone thinks Chelsea are the biggest team, you know. They win most titles and it was just great to be them. Especially for us, because I, I don't think people expected it, but we've done it. Yeah, I think this is where we're meant to be. We've always wanted to be here. We always challenge the best. So this is where we deserve to be. So we're going to prove that this season. How much confidence is there running through the team at the moment? A lot, a lot. I'd say we're, I think we're the best team in the country for our age. And I want to win the league and everything. What coaches have you, have you worked well with since you've been in the academy? Rob Quinn from around under 12 all the way to under 16. Dan Maxwell at under 12, they've made like, a big difference to my career. I'd say Rob Quinn, Darren Powell and my current manager Paddy McCarthy. They've really helped to push me on. Paddy's he's very passionate and you can tell he loves the club and uh, Rob's a bit quieter but he still gets across what he needs to. Powell, he's, he's just, he's always there. He does work with us on our finishing and we, he was our manager when we won the flood lip. He done a lot for us. People became aware of you because you actually made it into some newspapers over the summer with other clubs interested. How, how was that for you as an experience? It's been like a unique experience but um, then again it was quite stressful knowing that people were talking positive and negative about you. Yeah, it was just managing that. What Palace players have you enjoyed watching over the years? Zaha. Yeah, he's so flary. Townsend. He scores bangers. <laughs> Quite like Ayu as well, he's reliable. Have you managed to play with them at all? I've, I trained with them sort of about a year ago, I'd say, but just to be in the environment, was, it was pretty cool. But how do you see the next three or four years going? Uh, yeah, I really want to push on and um, hopefully make my debut here at Selhurst Park. That's, that's, how I wanna, that's how I want it to be. I hope to be like, progress through the club, play out there on the pitch, uh, do my best for the club and see what happens. Ideally, I'd like to be a Palace legend. And how great, yeah, would it to be walking out there in front of a packed Sellers Park Stadium? Amazing. I can't wait. Hopefully it happens. Yeah, it would be a dream.